What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. Tell me showing you guys New Balance 1906R, Action Bronson, Medusa Azul. All right guys, these are officially come out today for a retail price of 185. Now it was kind of hard to get these on the website today, but in person, it was kind of easy. I mean, this shoe was super duper nice. This is my first time reviewing an Action Bronson slash New Balance collaboration shoe. So I'm kind of happy to have this inside my hands right here. So the box is in red. It says Baklava on the front right there and like a silver. That is one of his slogans. You guys can also see that on his social media pages. On the back, it says the same thing. All right, I did go to size 9.5 on this. We don't get suggested retail on the box right here, but let's get into it, guys. So open up the top of the box. As you guys see, you get like a red film in there, which kind of has like a reflection on the top of the box. And we get this really nice dust bag. And on the dust bag, it says specializing in life, baklava, new balance. And it does have some 3M hits on there. So I'm gonna show you guys that really fast. And I like this bag. It's a really nice orange. It is kind of see-through, which is really dope. And um. Let's move on, guys. So this is the shoe right here. What do you guys think about it? Is it a cop or drop for you guys? Let me know in the comments box below. I really do like this colorway. I feel like it just really pops all around. I like all the different hits on it. Um, even the purple laces, even though we don't get an extra set of laces, but it does, you know, have a nice little pop to it. We do also get like this little paper on the inside that we do get with majority of the new balances that come out, if not all of them. We get like some little tissue paper on the inside here. We do have like a little blue and white and red sticker on the inside of the box as well. But let's get into it guys. So this shoe is actually going for about 200 or 300 bucks depending on sizing. And wow, this shoe is just really dope. I'm happy to have these in hand. And make sure you guys take throughout the whole video for the sizing tips and on feet because they look really good with pants options. But on the side right here, we do get a hang tag. It is the same on both sides in white, yellow, and blue. Looking at the bottom of the shoe here, we get like some gum bottom hits. A little bit of plastic down there. It says New Balance down there in blue. At the top here, we get like a light blue on a New Balance. All right, looking at the midsole here, we do have some energy in the outsole for the technology and like a purple. And you guys can see the different colors of blue on the outside and the inside of the shoe. Coming up towards the base of the shoe here, we have a lot of different hits on this shoe. We have a little bit of mesh. We have a little bit of TPU-like material. Not really a suede on here, but we also do get some 3M hits. So I'm gonna show you guys these 3M hits real fast. So on the front of the shoe right here, you guys can see everywhere that it does hit 3M. I know it needs to be a little bit darker in the room. I gotta get some new blades or some blackout curtains. I'm ordering some for my room, but I gotta find a whole setup for this room, guys. I'm still like still putting stuff together as you guys can see. But uh, on the outside of the shoe, I'm gonna show you guys all the 3M hits. Really, really clean and dope. Same thing on the inside of the shoe and even towards the back of the shoe right here. Now, this is a perfect time to be a sneaker lover. You know, a year or two ago, 300 to 400 bucks, they were super limited to get. No store was really doing first come, first serve for them, but today I was able to get these first come, first serve. But back into the shoe here, guys, on the outside of the shoe, we get this end lock right there on the outside with the end being like a gray plastic over top and we get some 3 hits on that once again. Underneath that, we get a little bit more of that mesh-like material, kind of like a brownish bronze looking color okay same thing on the inside of the shoe here i don't see any glue stains any stitching errors just a really clean nice shoe you won't see a lot of people with these and that is a shoe that i would want to have in my collection just you know to stand out a little bit more and they are really comfortable on feet looking at the toe box on this we won't need any rubber shoe trees because of the material used this much like material won't crease up on you so you won't need any rubber shoe trees on this looking at the mudguard here it is in black we have a little bit of blue peeking through. Coming up from the bottom of the shoe, we see a little bit of that gum bottom. We see the end for New Balance. Looking at the tongue on this shoe here, we get this gray mesh tongue. At the bottom of the tongue here, we get a little bit of black suede with the end there in silver. Once again, we only do get one set of laces on these, but I do love the set of laces that it does come with, these purple and black laces. At the top here, it says Baklava in white. In the background, it is in gray. It says New Balance 1906. On the inside of the tongue, it tells us about the sizing and the production and all that stuff. I'm gonna show you guys that real fast. The sock lining on this shoe is black. We do get some tissue inserts on this. Taking out the actual insole here. It's Baklava, New Balance, and green. The insole is like in a satin black. On the back here, it is in gray. I'll show you guys that real fast. Underneath the actual insole, it is white with like some white stitching. White slash silver stitching. No, that's a white stitching in there. Coming towards the back of the shoes here. We see a few different colors in the mesh at the top. We see a little bit of that plastic and black 
with black mesh and it says new balance and white and that's pretty much gonna do it for this shoe guys all right i'm gonna show you guys my flows in the toe box right now Okay guys, so this is what I like on feet. Pretty clean in my opinion. Now I'm a true size nine, I'm gonna get nine and a half on my shoes. You can go true to size on these. It says a true to size fitting shoe. But if you want a better wearing experience, you can go up half a size or just have a wider foot. You can go up half a size. Now with that being said, I did go up half a size once again. And when I scrunch up my toes, as you can see, it is pretty easy for me to do in there. So I have a little bit more space than if I would've went with the true size nine. So you got my big toe is. My big toe is right here. I have a little bit of space at the top of the toe box and I don't really feel my material. And I don't really feel the material on the outside or on the inside of my foot. But as you guys can see, my foot is like right there. But I have enough room to push down on this mesh where it's not hurting my feet at all. Um, I like to wear my shoes unlaced, as you guys can see on the left pair. And I don't have any slippage on this shoe whatsoever. I can take my foot out and force it out if I want to. But it is still pretty hard and stiff to do, as you guys can see right there. But other than that, they feel really nice on feet. And I'm going to show you guys what these look like with some different pants options right now. Also on the laced up pair. Um, I don't feel any pressure in the middle of the shoe or anywhere. They feel really good on feet. So once again, if you want a better wearing experience, go up half a size, but you can definitely get these in true to size. Okay, guys. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Show your boy some love and stay tuned. Bye.